Next week, we welcome the Hotman Sisters. They're performing this Friday night with two Omaha favorites, Sarah Bank and Tara Vaughn. A lot of excitement surrounding Tara right now. Her new album is almost ready. It's called Dandelion Wine. One of the songs, Blame It On My Youth. With that, here's Tara Vaughn. Met you in a dirty, crowded room before I knew good life and truth. Thought you're good at secrets, and I bet I am too. You said I can't kiss you, dear. I might like it as if that was something to fear, and I knew that it was wrong, but I knew it was true. But now I'm tangled in your mane. This what you get for messing with a sweet thing. Shame, shame on me, shame on you. And ooh, you guys in trouble again. You're kicking up dust where you shouldn't have been. But don't you, don't you run screaming. Get much sympathy, my dear, with your perennial excuse. I blame it all on my youth. You draw the straw across your glass. Check yourself in the mirror before you ask to be sure that my silence will last. Innocence is bliss. It seemed precarious in your fist. Sucked out the venom, there was morphine in your lips. And ooh, you're causing trouble again. You're kicking up dust where you shouldn't have been. But don't you, don't you run screaming. You wheel and deal and got you here. You won't get much sympathy, my dear. Blame it all on my youth. Blame it all on my youth. But how many times must I come to the same end? How many times am I modern in my own bed? And how much getting older is left to do the same? Never learning me how many selfish you. Look so cool. Oh. And ooh, I'm causing trouble again. I'm kicking up dust where I shouldn't have been. There's no one left to run to. Scream it. Yeah. You will and deal and got you here. You won't get much sympathy, my dear. With your perennial excuse. Blame it all on my. Tara Vaughn! Yes. yes! All right, hey, Tara, Tara. Good to see you. How good are you? So good to have Thanks you back. Having back. Listen, our pleasure. Do you know how many things I could blame on my youth? <laughs> a lot I mean, of even, I even when I wasn't young, you. how many things I could blame on my youth? Right. Where did the inspiration come from that song? You're 42 uh, and still blaming me. Right, I'm still blaming a lot of things. You know, it just kind of like early 20s memories of hanging out. Do you remember that bar, the track side? Yes. Like uh -huh. 60th and Woolworth. Yeah. And uh, just like some you know, some interesting life choices my friends and I made there like a few years back. So just kind of. Right. Mine weren't at the track side. There were other places too. Uh, no, I, yeah, yeah, something about, like right. throwing rocks. But we've at, all got that place, Tara, yeah. where we yeah. look back on and go, "What was I thinking?" I, and then you wrote a song about it's it. It's a universal feeling. Uh -huh. I'm glad you can really. Did you write everything on the new album, or take us into I the creative did. process, if you would? Yeah, you know, I wrote these songs over a period of about two years, mm -hmm. um, living in a little house on Poppleton Ave, and uh, I they kind of came to life with my band. They helped me arrange them, and then uh, my bass player or my friend who plays bass in my band, Matthew, and I went to Nashville and we got to work with uh, this producer, Joe Pazapia, mm -hmm. who kind of brought everything to life and helped make it a little shinier. And so. It's called Dandelion Wine, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and you recorded it in Nashville. What is it about Nashville? I know, listen, um, it's a fantastic music scene, but yeah. there's recording studios here, there's producers here. 
What is it about Nashville, though, that takes it to another level? You know, it wasn't even that I was trying to go to Nashville. I just really wanted to work with Joe Pazapia. And when, mm -hmm. the, when I got the chance, I couldn't pass that up. And so mm -hmm. it, Nashville ended up being just like this magical, dreamy place for it. But yeah. the intention wasn't even to go there to do it. To do it, it just kind of happened. So as this year starts to sh take shape, mm -hmm. you've got these two singles, including "Blame It on My Youth." Yeah. Uh, if you Tara's Facebook page, she does a really nice job of like putting stuff out there so oh, your fans can you. receive it. What are your expectations for 2016 as you start to look down the road? Yeah. Now? Well, you know, I'm trying to do a lot more touring. Mm -hmm. I, uh, next month, I have my first tour. I'm going down to Texas and mm -hmm. um, playing a festival there. And then uh, this summer, I just kind of want to kick it on the road. I'm uh -huh. just trying to. Uh, take the show on the road, I Open guess. Open it up. Right. Yeah. yeah. And on the road includes here in Omaha. And you got this show <laughs> oh, yeah. with Sarah Bank and the Hotman Sisters. Mm -hmm. They were here last week, yes. by the way. They're uh, so they're, great. They're fantastic. Yeah, great yeah. homies. Love yeah, them. Uh, tell awesome. us how this show come about. Uh, you know, I just wanted to, I wanted to do something here before I left for the spring, before mm -hmm. I left for tour. Um, and I got the chance to play at the waiting room. It's one of my favorite places to play. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, to play with Sarah Bank, who's just like, she's honestly one of my idols. She's so... Neighbor's Garden, that yes, she's I amazing. love her stuff too. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, it just kind of worked out in the Hotman Sisters. I've played with them now uh, once before this and they're just yeah. fabulous every time. So Well, thank you for introducing us to them because yeah, we really course. enjoyed their music. We love mm -hmm. Sarah's stuff for years. Same I'm with so you. Glad. I was talking to friends at lunch yesterday and I was like, guys, Friday night, they're all going to be together. Oh, People okay. were like putting it in their phones, like oh, making a date so to be there. Awesome. It's going to be an awesome night. So that's happening on Friday and then online, TaraVonMusic.com. If you'd like to find her on a regular website or through social, she's not that hard to track down. Mm -hmm.